Welcome back. It's time to turn things over to tonight's lone liberal rumble. On our panel tonight, Neil Asbury, CEO, author, and host of the Truth for America radio show, and Horace Cooper, conservative commentator and senior fellow at the National Center for Public Policy Research. Thank you both for joining me tonight. Thank you, Tom. Um, guns. Harry Reeve caved in. Basically, he realized that the, the Republicans were going to continuously filibuster Dianne Feinstein's assault weapons ban, and so he said, okay, we're going to pull this thing. Isn't this a demonstration that, that Mitch McConnell was negotiating in bad faith and was lying to Harry Reid when he said, you're going to have a gentleman's agreement that unless it's something that would provoke a national crisis, we're not going to filibuster anything? Well, first of all, um, uh, Harry didn't have the support of the Democrats. There are six or seven uh, 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 kind of purple state, red state, uh, uh, Second Amendment states, uh, Senate, uh, Senate Democrats that he didn't have support from. So I think this crumbled at the Democrat level, not the, not so the you Republican think this level. You think the assault weapons ban couldn't have gotten 50 votes in the Senate? No, absolutely not, because there's uh, uh, Democrat senators that are going to have to stand election. And it, I think the Democrats are grossly underestimating the support for the Second Amendment. But and it's got them in trouble. Horace, Colorado just passed a gun, you know, limit uh, laws, and, and Colorado's a pretty Republican state and a pretty gun-friendly state. I, I say bring it on, baby. Um, uh, now, I tell you that the Senate Majority Leader heard from his Democrat colleagues who said, please don't make us walk over these hot coals and vote on this thing. Okay. It's going to lose anyway, really? so don't make us do it. Now, Colorado, okay. they rammed it through, and I can't wait to see the off-year elections and watch the consequences. When Democrats watch do the things, chips. they always ram it through, and Republicans do things that say, oh, that's a very thoughtful deliberation. Uh, okay, so, so that's interesting. Do you, but what's, what's irrational about an assault weapons ban? I mean, all the public poll, the Washington Post just did a, did a poll. 57% of Americans support the assault weapons ban. This is something, Tom, this Tom, is something Ronald Tom, Reagan came out This is totally yeah. insincere. If the Democrats were really in to a gun control or, or background check sort of thing, why aren't they going after the culture of violence in Hollywood? Well, wait a second. Oh, it's because Hollywood is a big because donor that, of the Democrats. Oh, come let's, on. let's be that, fair that about is it. That's such a canard. Let's, no, it's not because it's this it's, violence in our saying, media. Guns don't kill people. I, Hollywood I, kills people. I, I think that's a big part. Of it. I mean, what was the the one that you talk about, Aurora, Colorado? What it, it was? Uh, what it was about a um, a Batman movie that inspired that, or at least was sort of there at the crux. We have a we have a culture of violence in this country. So let's go after both. But if you don't, it's a totally insincere effort to attack the Second Amendment, and it's not. Going we, to have, fly. we have had, you know, whether it's movies, whether it was books before them, we, we have glorified and depicted war a hundred thousand ways in the history of the human race. Look, if you really believe, uh, and I, I think Democrats are insincere on this too, but if you really believe the guns were the problem in America, how about coming up with a consensus solution? Let's make more things eligible for capital punishment. Let's hold there people you. accountable for their actions. But you progressives don't want that. Capital what you want, doesn't, doesn't what you want people is this progressive committing agenda. Committing suicide. You want this, oh please. Most you of, want these, this most of these mass shooters end up shooting been, themselves. You've been pushing for, which I think solves most of the problem. They're, they're doing but suicide. But you've been pushing for 50 years to grab the guns from American people. And that's your agenda, not actually holding people accountable who do the things that they have no business doing. This, you, you know, it would be it for, would be that, bipartisan. That, that you get 80 absolutely. votes. You get 80 votes in the Senate. If the Senate Majority Leader said, "Okay, here's what we're going to do in response are, to the shootings," are, once we're again, start and as always, Horace, you're these completely changing the subject. I said, "Isn't an assault weapon? Why should, why should weapons of war be on our streets?" Tom, Tom, I mean, take a look at Chicago. They have some of the most strictest gun laws in the country. It's not working out too well in Chicago. It, is it's it? a war zone in Chicago. It is. You know, it, 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 see it, the it, mayor over there. Let's see what he's going to say about it. it the, the mayor working. would like an assault, a national assault weapons because ban. The, because the bad As guys are going to most of the mayor. Because the bad guys are going to get the police department. Most Chicagoans would like an army to come in and escort them to work every day. Oh, on, that's precisely that's because it's a crime zone out of control, and nobody cares about that because you're on your progressive agenda to snatch guns away <laughs> from law-abiding citizens. 
It's a non-starter. Yeah, it's, it's not going to work. It, 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 and, 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 and this I, is, there is no there is no progressive agenda to snatch guns away from law-abiding citizens. But we're, 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 we're talking, look at this. We're we're talking about off. weapons of war. All she had to do there is, is a, pro a progressive okay. agenda True to fact. take weapons of war True off the streets fact. of America. Name me five cases where weapons of war were actually used to kill American citizens inside the country. So there must have been four that you know. No, name me four then. Okay. According My to the point. latest, no, I'm not going to. According to the latest <laughs> analysis, I mean, it's just this is common sense. So we have to change the law, Forest. and you can't even come up with five examples. You can't come up with four examples. You can't come up with three examples. The truth of the matter is, this is part of the agenda of progressives to take weapons away from law-abiding citizens. Of course, and the, the only the, reason it didn't the, happen the, this okay, time is question. because Senate very, very Democrats don't want it. This is the point that Mark, uh, Mark, uh, what's his name, the, the guy who's Gaddy Giffords. Yes. That, that, that that guy, Mark Kelly, that, that, that when he finally got to that seven-year-old girl, had he been using a, a weapon that had a limit of nine rounds you know, in, the, in the clip, that he would have had to reload, and that was the point at which he got taken down, was when he had to reload, he would have had to reload and she wouldn't have been killed. And this, and, and I recommend you progressives take the same step that Mark Kelly is taking, personally going around and buying as many AR-15s as he can so that he can take them off the market. All right. We're, not, we're clearly not going <laughs> to have any resolution on this. No okay. According to the latest analysis from the American Society of Civil Engineers, uh, infrastructure in the U.S. gets a D minus. Basically, we haven't been maintaining our infrastructure since the Reagan administration. I mean, that was when we stopped. We we built a lot of schools and a lot of hospitals before that. You know, Jack Kennedy famously talked about how 50 percent of the cost of all the hospitals in America had been paid for by the federal federal government up at that point in '62. Now, we have a, a recent Gallup poll that shows that 77 percent of Americans support government programs to put people back to work on infrastructure. And uh, that that would create jobs. I mean, you know, isn't this Tom, isn't this Tom, this broke. is not rocket science? Tom, we're broke. I we're mean, not broke. Trillion, we're the richest trillion, country in the world. What, what did Neil? you just have? Your previous segment was about I, you how know, you're maybe, going to have this cascading effect in from, from Honduras or yeah, something. Well, look, but we're we trillion the richest dollar deficits. nation in the world. We have trillion dollar deficits as far as the eye can see. You know, let's go after government waste. Even the Reader's Digest said we waste a trillion dollars a year. Wouldn't that be a great down payment on on infrastructure? The amount and, of waste in corporate America is mind-boggling. I absolutely agree with you. And the Pentagon as well. Of course, the Pentagon. Is wasting Pastor, money. Let's here's, do something about it. But here's, that's here's the not solution. my question. Here's the solution: build, operate, and transfer. Bring in private investment. Yes. Let them operate for so many years and collect tolls. The Brooklyn Bridge, yes. the Erie Canal, so many of the great infrastructure projects were the financed Erie, by private investments the Erie that Canal got tolls. Corporation was not exclusively financed by private corporations. But it, by, it, by it, was, it was justified it was and financed through in user the fees. The, through user fees. Well, that was that was Let the argument. But it was government it. money that put the Erie Canal together. And yeah. I don't know about the Brooklyn Bridge, but I, 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 I know I about love, the Erie Canal. He yeah. wrote about it in a book. One. Nothing can happen unless government does it. That's yeah. the progressive mentality. No, that's not true. That is absolutely, that is absolutely not true. What I'm saying is that there the is... Corner. Wait a second, Horace. Stop for just a second. You, you, just, you, just, you, you make these outrageous statements. No, I the, follow the, what the, you just said. That, you just said nothing can happen unless government does it. My <laughs> point is there is, something, to build there is something called the commons. The stuff that we all use in common. The stuff that it would be unreasonable to say, oh yeah, let's, let's just hospital. have the Koch brothers build a, a highway yeah. from one end of the country to the other. Yeah. Let's just have the Koch brothers come in and run the national air traffic control system. There is this stuff called the commons that we all ha have a part in and, and that, that we should be, you know, we have not been building. Our definitions of what constitutes the commons is in disagreement. A hospital is not necessarily something that has to be done by government. That is something that can be done by the private sector. Of course, though, Obamacare Poorly. limits the number of new hospitals that are allowed to be created because government wants to be able to be responsible for it. We absolutely we need toll roads in places. Highway. We need to let the private sector come in, build some of these parks, and let the economy grow. But while so we... Let me, let me just see. Let me just understand this. So out in front of everybody's house, before they go onto the privately owned toll road, they're going to have to put a, a quarter into the gate to, to go to some rich guy who owns the street, right? You're, you're telling me. Texas just put okay. an 85 mile an hour speed limit toll road in. It's extremely...